I will select, in this particular case, an advanced connector, a D-micro, right angle. Bringing up the package, I now have some additional capability to actually import the mechanical DXF file format, which I will use in this particular case, eComponent Vendor. Importing the DXF file format and putting it in, in the background mode, I will now change the number of pins and the number of rows to the specified amount. In this case, I have nine rows with very specific offsets, or four rows with uh, nine columns of pins with very specific offsets. I will change my pin and my X and Y pitch. And now I will start the changes with what we call associative editing. Associative editing is extremely useful by clicking on the value directly on the screen and changing it. And let the system find the form entry on the left-hand side to dynamically enter that value in and perform a calculation. I can simply click on the value and change the value directly on the screen and the details of that specific entry is handled for me automatically. Let's click on the H value and change that to the specified amount per the data sheet. And now let's perform the calculation and I will go back to the DXF file format that I imported and use that information to verify the calculated results against the original model that I imported from the DXF format. Let's select the content and crop the content and move it to my scratch layer and then move per the anchor to the specific location that I wish to match the footprint models. And I can apply any little additional offsets that may be applicable. Now I have compared the DXF model to my calculated model to ensure that I have the right pattern.